Wind, rain, and is this area too a whole lot of flooding? The 2022 Atlantic hurricane season starts today with coastal Virginia and northeastern North Carolina among the areas that do need to be on notice. News 3 reporter Anthony Sabella is live for us in Virginia Beach. Anthony, we don't know what the future exactly holds, but it's really important for people to be ready, right? What can you tell us? Yeah, exactly right, Aaron. And you know, with forecasters predicting another busy Atlantic hurricane season, you know, it's always good to be prepared. We know local communities are doing what they can to get ready behind me here. A great example of just one project uh, involving the city of Virginia Beach's flood protection program. Now, this area in particular, this neighborhood, Windsor Woods, was underwater in 2016 after Hurricane Matthew rolled through late in the year. Asheville Park near the Pungo area saw something similar with people seeing water just flood into their homes. Now, a few years after that, across the state line, I was in the Outer Banks when Hurricane Dorian hit. It wasn't a high category hurricane when it hit by any means, but it did cause quite a bit of damage. Now, Dare County's emergency management director says coastal areas in particular don't even need a direct hit to see potentially deadly hazards. People need to not focus on the category, but focus on what the impacts are going to bring. And if the impacts are going to be eight to nine feet of storm surge into your community, they need to focus on that. And I think our, our community is attuned to that. I don't think our visitors understand it as well. Storm surge, that rise in sea level due to a storm uh, in low lying areas like the Outer Banks, it's a pretty big concern because it can wash away homes and it, of course, can wash away people and it's known to be quite deadly. So a big concern for those low lying coastal areas. Again, here a little more inland, maybe not much of a problem, not as much of a problem, but flooding certainly is. And again, the flood protection program here in Virginia Beach, a great example of a, hopefully a long term solution to try and protect some of these homes and businesses in this area. Of course, what you can do short term is get an emergency kit ready and we have a full list of what you need in that in this story at WTKR.com. Live here on the first day of 2022 Atlantic hurricane season, I'm Anthony Sabella, News 3.